Today I'm going to show you how to install a four-way switch. Hi, my name is Kurt Bashad and I am the electrical instructor. Today I'm going to show you how to install a four-way switch. A four-way switch is a switch that we add into a three-way circuit. So if you watched my video on how to install three-way switches, which I'm sure it's up in the link here, you can click that and watch that first, that would actually make more sense. What we're basically doing is taking that circuit, that set of three ways, and we're going to install a four-way switch, meaning instead of switching from two locations, now we're going to switch from three. You have to have two three ways in order for you to be able to switch from more than one location, controlling one or a multiple of lights. So if I want to switch from, you know, from two or more spaces, I have to then insert a four-way switch. Now, if I, want to use, if I want to have four switching locations or five switching locations, I'm just going to add four ways into my circuit. If, you're, if you watch my three-way video, then you would know that you need two three-ways and the three-way, one is going to get fed and the other is going to get switched. Now, like I said before, there are multiple different ways you can wire them. You can feed and switch from different locations, you know, but we're not going to get into that. We're talking very basic. This is for the basic person to do a basic circuit, which is very uh, self-explanatory. Okay. So let's get into it. Okay. Well, what is a four-way switch? Okay. A four-way switch looks like this and it has four terminals, two on this side and two on this side. If you look closely, you can see we have what's called an input and an output. Now, that input or output really doesn't matter which switch is controlling which switch. All we need to understand is those two screws work together. So in this one here, you can see I have a black screw and a brass screw. On this side, I have a black screw and a brass screw, meaning my input is my black screws and my output is my brass screw. When we put the wires on the screw, we got to make sure that one pair of wires comes into the input and the other pair of wires go on to our output. Those again are called our travelers. Our travelers is what is carrying our power from one side of the switch to the other because in a four-way switch, it's basically you're just making and breaking contacts and the power is either turning on or turning off and redirecting the power. Once your three-way starts working, it's going to start redirecting power also, and that's what gets our light to turn on, which I'll show you here in a minute. Make sure you stay till the end because what I'll show you is how to fix or troubleshoot a problem that you may have in your circuit if you hook up this wrong. Okay, so just like when we did the three-way switches, what we're going to do is we're going to splice this box. Basically, this box has two three wires has a black has a black a red and a white and a ground screw in one and then you have a black a red a white and a ground wire in the other one you can see that this wire this three wire here going to this three-way switch is run through here comes into one side here this wire here goes up and over and goes into our other three-way So with that being said, what we have to do is we have to pair them. So remember, if you, again, if you watch the video, and I'll drop it again in the link, the three-way video will show you our black and our red in this circuit are going to be our travelers. So we're going to take these wires, we're going to move them up and out of the way. Now, I know those wires are going on my switches, so everything else now has to be spliced. We're going to start with the, with the ground wire. And remember, the ground wire is stripped long because we're going to use a greenie. So remember what we have to do. We have to take our wire, fold them together, cut it off, give it a little bit of a twist. A greenie, remember, a green, green wire nut has a hole in it in order to slide the wire on, we're going to bring it right to where the other wire is connected and we're going to twist it, make it nice and tight, give it a little bit of a tug, doesn't come off, life is good. We're going to fold it and get it into the back of the box. 
The key to getting the bare copper wire in the back of the box means we have less of an opportunity of it shorting out on our screws. Our white wires are gonna be our neutral. That's gonna go from our feed all the way through to our other three wire and up into our light fixture. So that's what's gonna complete our circuit. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna splice it. get back in the box. Okay, so remember what I showed you. Input is on the top, output is on the bottom. Does it matter which one of these are input and output? It really doesn't matter, okay? We're just gonna remember that one pair of these wires will go to the top and the other pair of the wires will go to the bottom. So here, let me get that for you. Remember, stripping wire, you want to strip about three quarters of an inch. Use your stripper, give it a little bit of a hook. And while I'm at it, I might as well do my ground. Okay. All right, the key is to always make sure your wires are separate, okay? Make sure one pair going to this three way, this pair going to this three way, they're separate, so you know which one's gonna to be top or bottom. And like I said before, it doesn't matter which one, which one goes top or bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this side here and we're gonna put this on the input or the top. Now, that's complete. Now we're gonna take the other wire and we're gonna put that on the output or the bottom, so bottom of the switch. Does it matter if red's on the same side, black's on the same side, it doesn't. So just for this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Let's slide this around here because I'm already looking at it. side going to install our green ground and we're going to throw it in the box Okay, so our four-way is now wired in. Okay, it's secured into the box. Everything is good, okay? So now, all we have to do is turn the power on and test it and see if we did it correctly. All right, so now I'm gonna flip switch. Light comes on. I'm gonna flip the next switch, our four-way. Light goes off. I'm gonna flip the three-way. Light goes on. I'm gonna come back to my three-way and I'm gonna flip the switch. I'm gonna go back to my four-way, flip the switch. I'm gonna go back to my three-way, flip the switch. Back to my three-way, my four-way, my three-way, my four-way, three-way, four-way. Like I said, it's very simple. All you have to do is make sure you have your pair of travelers coming from one three-way going to one four-way, uh, the input, and you have from your other three-way going into your output. This doesn't get any easier. It's written right on the device. Um, you know, the, it, it's in the directions. All you have to remember is when you're using your travelers, you have to know what color you're using. Land those wires, splice the white through if you're using, you know, if you're, if you're using the neutral through your box. 
But for the most part, guys, all you're adding is two travelers to the top, two travelers to the bottom, the four-way switch is installed. Easy piece. All right, little bonus material here. I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot a four-way when a wire becomes crossed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. How many people been in the house, you flip the switch on, flip the switch off, you flip the switch on. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh no. Let's go back. We flip this one, we flip this one, life is good. We flip this one, we come back to it, nothing happened. Oh, this one happens. Nothing happens. Our four way apart so we can fix the problem. Okay, when I trace out my wires, I see that I have these two wires are swapped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse them and I'm gonna put them on the same sides because remember, you feed or you bring one pair of wires into the input and one pair to the output. Okay, so we reverse the wires. We put the screws back, to, back in. Now we'll troubleshoot, now the power is on. Flip the switch. Very basic. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the bonus material. Again, wiring a four-way is not that difficult. You just have to follow the steps. Remember, when you're dealing with a more than one switch location, you're gonna have two three-ways and a four-way. If you have more, you're gonna add more four-ways. It's very basic, very simple. Now, if you like my video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do me a favor, leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. At the same time, you can always contact me at sparkyinstructor at gmail.com. As always, have a great day and be safe.